Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I thought we would take a look around some of our favourite homeware stores and see what's in store for Christmas. Now this video was filmed prior to the lockdown, so all of these shops are closed at the moment. However, I thought it'd be nice just to take you around the stores prior to the lockdown so that you can watch it now and maybe make a note of anything that you want to pick up once the shops are open again and that sort of thing. Or just, if you're like me and you like seeing what's in the shops, it's just a nice relaxing video to watch and yeah, just have a good mooch about the shops. So the shops that we are going to be visiting today are Primark, we're going to pop into TK Maxx, we're going to go into Flying Tiger and we're also going to have a look in H&M Homes. I hope all of those are shops that you like having a look around into. I think there's four of my favourites right there so I can't wait to get into the video and share with you what I spied in store. So before we get into it, if you're new here do click subscribe for new videos every single week and if you enjoy this having a look around the shops with me, seeing all the festive good stuff that's in store, then do give this video a thumbs up. So yeah, you may want to make a little note of anything that catches your eye so that once the shops do open again, you know what you're looking for. And yeah, I just hope you enjoy the video. And do stay tuned to the end because that's when I'm gonna be showing you everything that I picked up. A few things fell into the basket. So quick sip of the coffee and let's go shopping. And we're starting off in Primark and the first thing that caught my eye was the Disney range. They had lots of things in the Disney range including some lovely bedding. They also had lots of gifts as I came into the store and these gingerbread tins caught my eye for £5. There's lots of nutcrackers around again this year and these ones looked really sparkly and also these star shaped um, ornaments I've seen in quite a lot of shops too. They also had matching pyjama sets if you're a family that wears matching pyjamas and in menswear I saw some face masks that were two for £2.50 which I thought was good. They also had some lovely bedding sets in time for Christmas and quite a few little ornaments as well that were catching my eye. These little Christmas tree tea light holders were £3.50. They also had some really cosy throws for £5 each and I thought that Sherpa bedding looked lovely too. They also had some good value Christmas decoration sets, everything that you need to kit out your tree. These baubles I thought were lovely for £3.50 and also some nice seasonal tea towels as well. They had a four pack that would probably do for all year round as well for £4 which caught my eye and I loved this fitted sheet for £8.50. I thought that was such a lovely fitted sheet but we're off to H&M home now and the first thing that caught my eye was this bamboo bath shelf for £19.99. It also had matching soap dishes in store and a really nice wash bag as well. Really simple design on this bag. I thought that was very stylish for £6.99. They had these laundry bins. I think that's what they are anyway with pom-poms on that I thought were very nice and also these deep baskets with handles. I thought these would be handy to carry next to the stairs so that you could pop things in for transporting up and down the stairs. If you're anything like me, there's always something that needs to go up and down the stairs. And how about that shower curtain? It reminds me of some of those shower screens that you see with the um, square design on them. So I thought that was really good as an alternative. And also some great mugs in store. I love the mugs in H&M. They had lots of different options, including this one, which is a hug in a mug. And that was just £2.99, which I thought was a great price. I also like the look of this rattan style tray, but at £19.99, I thought that was quite pricey. I thought this range was quite interesting with the egg designs and the hens, uh, cockerels and that sort of thing. Quite unusual in the feathers as well. Then they had some nice metal storage containers too, which I haven't seen in store before. And these hanging planters, which were £12.99 each, which I thought was pretty good. Onto the cushions, one of my favourite things that H&M Home does, and this one was £6.99. And it has a matching one that has a stag on it, which we're going to see shortly. Off to the rugs. They've got some great rugs in store if you are looking for any rugs for your home. Worth looking in H&M. 
And I like the look of these paper decorations too. I thought they are something that we could DIY though, so I have to say none of those made it into my basket. And then onto the sale area, I had a good rummage around, but a lot of the items in the sale area didn't have any stickers on them. This little trinket dish did, that was seven pounds, but these big vases didn't, so I couldn't tell you what price those were, but this was interesting, this candle holder for nine pounds. This is the cushion cover that I was talking about that I thought would match quite nicely with the Christmas tree one. And they had some sweet little vases as well, but we're off to TK Maxx now and they had some great Christmas ornaments, including some tree toppers as we came into store. They also had some mugs, lots of different festive mugs. So if you are somebody that collects different mugs, likes Christmas mugs, then do have a look in TK Maxx when it opens up again, because they had some great options all around the 3.99 or the 2.99 mark. And this one caught my eye. You may know that I'm a big fan of a Starbucks mug. They had some really nice Santa um, ornaments as well and some nutcrackers, really big ones too, which are always good fun. Nice to display around the fireplace or in a porch, that sort of thing. And now I'm off to have a little rummage around the random stuff, maybe the bargain area. And this has caught my eye. It's a white little light up house, which I thought was very sweet. Only 3 dollars as well. We also had a few garlands in store. These are really nice to drape along banisters, mantelpieces, that sort of thing. And they had a few decorative branches as well in the clearance section. They had some really nice ornaments for hanging on the tree that were made out of felt as well. Lots of little creatures, including a sloth. And I think this is a mouse or is it a pig? I'm not quite sure. Dinosaur. All kinds of things that I think would be really nice um, to hang on the tree. And I think children would love these too. I think it's a pig. Is that a pig? <laughs> I think it's a pig. And uh, this hedgehog who doesn't look too happy. But yeah, they're all at 3 dollars which I thought was good. And then some nice pieces for a table centerpiece. But I saw this guy, this teddy bear was absolutely huge. It's one of the biggest teddy bears I've ever seen in a shop. And I had to have a little... Um, selfie with him but he was um, 199 pounds and I thought that was really good I mean it's quite a lot of money but for that price I thought you get a lot of bear <laughs> a lot of bear for your buck if you will we're on to some Christmas decor now so they had some nice bits including cushions and of course the candle section which I always have a look around but I've bought a lot of candles lately so I did resist but if you're after some fragrance candles for Christmas they do start at around 2.99 in store and they've got some really lovely ones so worth a little look and I really liked some of the doormats as well, especially this one. The password is I bought Prosecco, but we're off to the works now. And in store, they have two for £10 on selected children's games and also selected crafts as well, including this weave your own macrame, which I thought could be good fun. They've also got some good craft stuff in the works. If you're into crafting, maybe making some Christmas cards, that sort of thing. They had loads of nice little pieces for one pound and also some that you can do with children as well from one pound 50, somewhere even just one pound, loads of different craft ideas. And then this caught my eye, Monopoly EastEnders for 25 pounds. If you know somebody who loves EastEnders, this could be a really fun gift for them. It even has, that's Sonia's trumpet, isn't it? <laughs> if you watch EastEnders, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you'll have no idea. But also spotted some slow cooker recipe books as well. I love my slow cooker and I thought these looked like they were good value. And this is an absolute bargain. They had birthday cards, 20 for one pound. I think that's the cheapest that I've ever seen. They looked like they were mostly aimed at children, but if you are somebody who has kids, who has lots of friends, who have birthday parties and that sort of thing, it might be worth stocking up in there. I love this one, your top banana. They also had a mini glue gun in store for seven pounds and lots of crafting bits, lots of wooden bits that you can paint, like these sweet little bird boxes, little houses and paper mache llamas. If you're into Mrs. Hinch, her book, This Is Me is also in store, but we're off to Flying Tiger now. I can't keep up. We've been shopping quickly today. I was whipping around all the stores before the lockdown to show you what's in them. They had some lovely Christmas ornaments in the window that caught my eye. And moving on into the store, they always have some good novelty headwear in Tiger, don't they? You may have seen on previous uh, shopping vlogs around Christmas time. I usually like to try it on, but the current time I thought best not to. But they had some lovely bowls as well and some measuring cups too. These were two pounds, really handy if you're doing some Christmas baking. And also some mugs, which looked like they'd been pretty much cleaned out, but this one was remaining, which I thought was very sweet. They also had some nice artificial trees in store, which I thought was fab. 
at good prices too, different heights, and I haven't seen those before, so worth looking out for if you're after a new artificial tree this year. I wasn't sure what these were, I'll be honest with you, but I realised they were shuttlecocks because they're next to um, some tennis balls. So yeah, I thought they were salt and pepper shakers to begin with, but I do love all the novelty Christmas ornaments in Tiger. They always have such a random mix, really good fun if you've got that kind of novelty tree going on. And these pink balloons, I think they are. I think these were only 50p, which I thought was a fab price. They're either balloons or light bulbs. And then also this little elf house, really sweet to make a little display out in the garden with. They had some little wreaths that were really good value as well, I thought. This one was only £2 and I really liked the one with the little figures in it as well. And they had lots of sweet little toys, great little stocking filler ideas. They always have some fab stuff in Tiger. And this cute little gingerbread house, another toy for £3. Loads of soft toys. Again, if you are looking for stocking fillers, it's worth a little browse once it does reopen. And also some hobby horses as well. They had some dragons and some unicorns. That's not a dragon, is it? That's a dinosaur, but never mind. You get the drift. We're moving on to some gift tags, 50p, and this is something that's really handy. I've got one of these, and it is a cable storage kind of thing. So if you've got messy cables behind your TV, then that's what that was for. We also have some novelty plant pots. And these ones caught my eye as well with the shell design in them. I thought those were really good for three pounds each. They remind me of holidays, somewhere tropical. Imagine that right now. Let's not actually, let's not taunt ourselves. A lovely shelf though. <laughs> and we've got some other bits and pieces. This is kind of like the kitchen section, which I always have a little look around, see what's new. And finishing with a light up house garland. Okay, so it is time to show you everything that I bought while I was out at the shops. I didn't get too much because, as you may have seen, I got a lot of Christmas decorations recently from Poundland, including this bad boy up here. And that video is already live, so I'll link that one in the description box in case you missed it. But I did pick up a couple of things in H&M. So starting off with those, I had a look at their um, shirts or their shackets, I should say. They've got quite a few nice ones in store. So this was um, $24.99 and it's a regular fit. And I've also got the H&M app, so if you do use that, you can get a bit of discount. So I got 15% um, off of this with the H&M app. And then I also had a three pound voucher on the app, but you can't use them both at the same time. So I got this one and paid for it using that voucher. <laughs> I'm that annoying person at the till. And then I was like, can I put this one through with my other voucher, please? And um, the girl at the checkout was very helpful, so thank you um, to the girl at the checkout for helping me with that. But then I bought this cushion, um, which was 6 99 and I used my £3 voucher for this. But I'm delighted with this. How about that? I saw this on the display and I just thought, yeah, love it. Nice and simple, because it hasn't got the decorations on. It's just like a, it's like a tree waiting to be decorated. It's a little bit like the one that you see in Covent Garden, isn't it? So yeah, that might end up um, in the backdrop very soon. And it's made from organic cotton as well. So yeah, I had my three pounds off that, so absolute barg. And then in TK Maxx, you may have spotted this as I was having a browse. And yeah, couldn't resist it. You know I love a Starbucks mug. And this was 6 99 and it comes with some classic hot cocoa um, as well. I'm debating giving this as a gift or just keeping it a gift for myself. We shall see. But yeah, I thought that was lovely with the nice um, festive berries on there. And then that is all I picked up from the shop. So as I say, I was quite restrained. I'm trying not to buy too much at the moment. And with the amount of stuff I picked up from Poundland, I felt any more Christmas decorations wasn't quite needed at the current time. But I did do a little bit of online shopping and I picked up, well, first of all, I picked up a candle, but I actually just got this to bring the price above 30 pounds because then you get the free delivery. So if it's anywhere near 30 pounds when I'm shopping from Aldi, I tend to pop a candle in the basket because they're always something that I can use. And if not, they're always something that I can give away as well. So I got the classic. So this is the number one. This is the old favorite. It's the lime, basil and mandarin. I think this one's the best one they do in this collection. And yeah, you've seen it many times on here already if you're a regular viewer, I'm sure. I've just put my hand on a cactus, <laughs> which um, yeah, wasn't a vibe. I don't seem to have any spikes in my wrist, but 
yeah, I should probably move that. It's not in the best position when I'm filming sat down on the floor. Um, the thing that I did buy from Aldi was this sewing machine. So this is actually like a miniature sewing machine or a midi white perfect for beginners. So it is a small one. So I'm thinking more so for doing some maybe Christmas crafts or some very small alterations, that sort of thing. But it does say it's got 12 built-in stitch patterns, adjustable speed, hand stitch or foot pedal um, operation. So yeah, gonna give it a go. My friend uh, Catherine over at Dainty Diaries has a full sewing course. If any of you are looking to start sewing, she has a full video tutorial for beginners and I'm gonna link that course down below. I think it'd be a really good Christmas present to get for somebody who you think would love to start learning to sew and has a sewing machine. And also it'd be quite a good gift for somebody who's remote from you because obviously it's a digital download. But yeah, really thorough introduction to sewing. I've had a look at it myself and it's fab. So um, this is quite a basic sewing machine, but I think for what I need, it's going to be perfect. I'm just fancying doing some little felt crafts for Christmas maybe, um, that sort of thing. Just doing some maybe small decorations. We'll see. Um, so if I do manage to get anything sewn with this, of course I will be sharing it with you. But yeah, 29.99 this was, so I just missed out on the free delivery, hence buying the candle. Um, I'm just having a look on the back, so it has all the different stitches here, as you can see. And we'll see how we go. I thought for £29 it would be worth a try, so yeah, I'll keep you posted on that. And if it's any good, I'll let you know. And if I come up with any um, sewing DIYs with it as well, I'll let you know too. I just quite like the fact that it's a bit more compact as well, rather than a big bulky sewing machine. I thought, as I am a beginner, it'd be good to start small. So there we are. I think that is everything that I've got to show you. So I hope you enjoyed this um, come shopping with me. And obviously at the current time we aren't able to do this. So I just thought it might be enjoyable to have a little browse and yeah, just see what's in the stores when they do reopen. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do give it a little thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments down below if anything caught your eye. I was a big fan of the giant teddy bear. That was £200 in TK Maxx. I mean, I don't know where you put a teddy bear like that. It'd probably take up a full room in my flat, but <laughs> I thought that was excellent. And what else did we spot? They had some lovely decorations in the stores, didn't they? Some really nice stuff. I like the novelty ones in Tiger. I think they're always good fun. And then in Primark, I mean, Primark are going to town this year as well. They had loads of good stuff in the Disney range. And I really liked some of their Christmas bedding as well. I'm tempted to pick some up. Um, maybe once the shops open again. Love their Christmas bedding. But anyway, I'm getting distracted. You let me know in the comments down below what you spotted and what you thought um, was good. But yeah, don't forget you can always catch me over on Instagram as well. It's Mr. Carrington and Mr. Carrington Home. And I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.